A woman was arrested after authorities say she stole flower arrangements from a gravesite. Aww. That's just pretty low, lady. That is. That's as low as you can get right there. Wow. Why? Martha Bowes is charged with theft and desecration of a gravesite. They say she was caught on camera stealing two handmade floral arrangements, arrangements from a headstone in Painter Cemetery after multiple items were stolen from her grandparents' gravesite over the years. Carol Gillard and her family put up security cameras to hopefully catch the next thief. It proved to be successful. Photos of what appears to be Miss Bowes swiping of the floral arrangements from the Crowley family plots was posted to social media and given to the DeKalb County Sheriff's Office, which led them to Bowes' arrest. Authorities executed a search warrant at Bowes' home and found the victim's floral arrangements, and a large amount of other floral arrangements were also found at the home and seized. Martha was apparently stealing and reselling the floral oh arrangements. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> we know where she's going. <laughs> my you, God. You really can't get anything on Facebook Marketplace these days. <laughs> Awful. Grandma Di, you need some flowers for the ser- Wow. Yeah. <laughs> That's awful. <coughs> it's terrible, isn't it? It's horrible. I've been looking for new uh, side hustle Shame ideas. Shame you, Martha. Uh, police are searching for a knucklehead who allegedly broke into a home in San Diego, started removing his clothes, and then asking for Bibles. You got any Bibles around here? The break-in happened early in the morning. The homeowner, who only wanted to be identified as Carol, was home with her 92-year-old grandmother. She said after confronting the man and asking him to leave, he began asking rambling questions. When she stepped away to retrieve the Bibles and returned, the man began getting undressed. Soon after the police arrived and announced they were entering the house, the man then slipped out of the house and police are reviewing the neighbor's surveillance footage. Everybody's got their thing, apparently. <laughs> yeah, right? And a Westchester County, New York fire department's reminding residents about the dangers of using gasoline to start indoor fires after crews responded to an incident at home recently. They traveled to the scene following a report of heavy smoke coming from a chimney. Upon arrival, they discovered a fire in the fireplace with a large amount of smoke in and around the residence. Officials found the homeowner had used gasoline and paper to light the fire. Uh, units operated for over an hour. When the flames were extinguished, the department urges residents to uh, never use highly flammable fuel to light indoor fires. <laughs> this ought to work. Yeah. Pour some gasoline on it. Just pour some gasoline on it. Eddie Murphy routine. Eddie, yeah. go around the back. Get them cans of gasoline for me. That's fire! Those are your knuckleheads. You can find those stories. You know what I'm talking about? I do. That's a fire. <laughs> You've quoted it a couple times. I just, <laughs> you don't even have to have no. heard it or <laughs> no, seen them do it. I, I'll uh, re- reenact it yes, for you. That's a fire. <laughs> All right. Those are your knuckleheads. Find the stories wherever you follow us on social media. Search Mel and Scott in the morning.